from All Seeing Eye Tarot here with your bi weekly love scope for the zodiac sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising for March 15th through the 31st. Let's see what's happening with you, Cancers. Also, Cancer, I am running a special. The special this weekend is going to be up to the minute. So, however many minutes you want to book, it's a dollar a minute. Um, hit me up at allsingoutarot at gmail.com. And in the subject line, make sure you write how many minutes that you want to book. Okay? All right, let's see what's happening. Spirit and Universe, what's the message you got for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, March 15th through the 31st. Give me Cancer. cancer <clears throat> all righty five of pentacles the lovers hmm. and the seven of swords under the five of pentacles we have the page of pentacles under the lovers is the four cups under the Seven of Swords is the Seven of Wands. Under the Page of Pentacles is the Chariot. Under the Four of Cups, we have the Five of Swords. Wow. And under the Seven of Wands is the Sun card. The overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. All right, let's look at this because... um. <clears throat> All right, so I feel a couple of different stories with this cancer. Um, I feel like there could be some of you cancers out there that could be, um, it, it's, you have the five of pentacles, the lovers, and the seven of swords. And, and I'm trying to put this together in my brain because it almost, I almost get this feeling that um, you're feeling unsupported right now, okay? Um, it could be that you're struggling, you're having a hard time at this moment, and you need some support, okay, uh, from your lover or, you know, from a relationship that was very important for you. And with the seven of swords there, it kind of looks like to the outside world, you look like you got it together. Okay. And this is because you're not talking, you're not really talking about what's going on internally. Okay. So your outside appearance look like you got everything together. Your internal, um, is, is raging and, and you feel lonely and you feel broken. This could also be a sense of you may feel cancer that you made the wrong decision. You may feel that you let somebody go that was very supportive of you. Um, and, and it looks like I'm looking at this five of swords energy. It, it, it could even be that you let somebody go that was very important to you to protect them in some sort of way. OK, or to protect your secret, something that you were keeping a secret about that you didn't want to come out into the open. OK, so it looks like maybe you had to let somebody go that meant a lot to you. And now you're feeling lonely, you're feeling broken. And it could even be that uh, with that seven of swords energy, the page of pentacles, it seems like this is the object of your affection. So you could be secretly watching them secretly. Um, looking into their life, seeing if they've moved on with someone else. Okay. What I'm gonna tell you, cancer is you just need to go and approach them. All right. Um, it's not going to help you to keep your secrets to yourself. If you're still in love with this person and you feel like you made a mistake, you feel like maybe you moved on a little too fast and you know, you didn't get anything better. Or maybe you made a decision to move on with someone else and you're not happy with this new person that you moved on with and you're still in love with the old person. It's kind of like you're confused. You don't really know how to go about getting back your partner, getting back the love of your life. I also have to take into consideration the lover's card because the lover's card represents um, a, a higher force putting the two of you together. It, it represents um, that's it's, it's not of your own doing. OK, it's kind of like. um. Maybe a lot of you need to <laughs> just look like prayer, like you need to pray. You need to ask the universe for a second chance because something that they were giving to you that was very special, you didn't want it. You didn't take the offer. 
You see, I'm looking at that for sale sign. And it's kind of like the universe gave you something special. You took it for granted. You didn't want it. And now you're alone. This is something that you have to take up with your spirit guide. So you need to pray and ask for the way to get back what you've lost. You know, I, I would simply say, you know, spirit, how, you know, when you gave it to me, I wasn't ready. I had some situations going on or whatever. But now I realize that this is the one for me. Um, can you help me? Show, show me how to get back together or can you put this back together for me? Okay. I get the sense that that's what you're going to need to do for some of you. All right. So. I see the other stories that I see. I also have a situation to where uh, there could have been some sort of lies that was going on. Some, something's wrong here, Cancer. Like, I'm looking at a situation where there could be some sort of usury that's going on. Because we have the Five of Pentacles there. Then we have the Lovers and we have the Seven of Swords. It could be that you actually, you got in, you were in a relationship with someone and maybe you, you lied to them about your finances or what you have or something like that. And... This was all to be able to take from them or be able to, um, I think this is monetary, honestly. I really do think it's monetary because I'm looking at this five of swords. I was thinking maybe this could be, you know, uh, taking advantage of somebody's feelings, but, but I don't think so. I think that this is actually monetary. I feel like maybe you lied to a person about what you actually have. Really, you're broke right now. You don't have shit because we got the five of pentacles there. OK, and you may have lied to this lover and you may have taken from this because this looks like there you owe somebody something. And then with the seven of swords, maybe you borrowed something from somebody or took something from somebody and then tried to get ghosts and didn't pay them back with the seven of swords being there. OK, now we're looking at the page of Pentacles, the four of cups and the seven of wands. Uh, maybe that can be the reason why you're afraid to go back to this person or try to uh, get back in their good graces because you know that you, you owe them something, but maybe at the moment you don't have it. Okay. Some of you may have it. I'm looking at the chariot and the five of swords. It's a victory, but it's a shallow victory. So it could be like you use somebody for something and then finally you got on your feet, but you don't feel complete. You still feel there's a sense of emptiness that you're carrying around with you. And because it looks like you used the wrong fucking person. I'm going to just be honest with you, Cancer. It looked like you you took advantage of the wrong person. It seems like this person is very important. They're significant. This was a gift that was given to you by the universe. Okay. And now that you got yourself together, there's there's a sense of, I owe this person. Okay. You you don't feel complete. You, you're struggling internally by yourself. You're struggling and, and I, it may not be financially because maybe, you know, in the past you didn't have anything and you did what you had to do in order to, you know, gain some sort of advantage. You did what you had to do. You said what you had to say and you acted in a way that really hurt somebody. And now you're on your feet, but you don't feel complete. It's a shadow victory because the chariot is to run over everything, you know, to have different people trying to throw obstacles in your way. But it's to, to keep charging forward to go towards the victory. And you got the victory. The problem is that it's a shallow victory. You don't feel very happy. Maybe because you you you've gotten to, you're get, you've gotten yourself to a place to where now it's like you look around and it's like who am I supposed to share this with? Yeah, I got this. I got the glitz. I got the glam. I got the money now. I got the job now. I got the I got the cars. Whatever you got, okay. But I have no one to share this with. I have no one to to look at me and put me on this pedestal. I have I've destroyed. Um, I bit the hands that fed me. Okay, so now it's just me with a bunch of stuff. There's a sense of regret that's going on, Cancer, and you're trying to figure out how do I how do I get back in this person's good graces? I didn't mean to do what I did, but I was so focused. I was I was fucked up at, at the time, and I didn't tell this person the truth. And I really needed their help, and their help got me to where I needed to be. But now I want to get back in because. I feel like this might have been the one, Bella. I feel like this this might have been the the one for me. This is the person that cheered me on. This is the person that, you know, uh, wanted to see me do good. And now I'm doing good, but I'm doing good alone. I'm doing good and I'm not happy. Yeah, that's what I feel. Okay, so you're trying to figure out how to approach this person. For these next two weeks, you're trying to figure out how to approach this person. Okay. 
Also, it could have been a lie. I, you know, it might not have been financial at all. Maybe it was a lie. Maybe there was um, uh, some sort of you got into a relationship and you tried to keep from this person that you were still uh, married or still in some sort of contract that you left un un uh, fixed. Like there was um, a relationship that you made. You may have did some rebound shit. You know, like broke up with somebody and it was unfinished business or, you know, it's not completely over. And then you started a new relationship with this person and you could not really enjoy this brand new person that the universe gave you because you still had this door open here. All right. And now maybe you've shut the door over here and now you're trying to figure out how do I get back to this thing here? The thing that the universe gave me. I'm going to tell you, you're still going to have to go through your spirit guides. You're still going to have to pray about it, you know, um, or ask, how do you get back into the, how do you get that opportunity back after you've seemingly destroyed it? Cause it's the five of swords. It's still some sneaky business going on. Seven of swords, five of swords It's still some sort of betrayal. Okay. Some sort of betrayal. It's either you, you betrayed this person trying to get money. You betrayed this person because you were already in a relationship and then you started a new relationship and then you couldn't move forward with that relationship until you shut the door on this old shit here. Okay. Um, yeah, that's what I feel. It's it's one or the other. That's what I feel is going on. I feel like missing an opportunity because at the time it was bad timing. It could have been you got this opportunity, but it was bad timing. I got the best opportunity I could ever have at the wrong time. And I, I had to push that thing away. And now that I'm ready for it, how do I get it back? Hit me up. I'll say at tarot at gmail.com if you need some solutions, some advice. How do I get it back? Take advantage of up to the minute, okay? You need some help with that, okay? Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Um, if you'd like to donate, uh, there's a little section that says All Seen Eye Terror. You click that, you'll go to my my channel. And on my channel, on All Seen Eye, you'll say, it'll say support my channel. You just click that button, okay? All donations matter, and I will get back to you letting you know that I received it. I love you so much, Cancer. I really tried. It's so much that's going on for these next two weeks. But what I will tell you is that if you made a mistake or you really hurt somebody, Cancer, um, or you acted in, in, in a selfish way, I feel like you've learned your lesson at this time. You've learned your lesson because, you know, people make mistakes. Nobody's perfect, okay? But you may be putting a little bit more energy into this than you have to. Like, like you're thinking too negatively about this. That person may already have forgiven you, but you're not going to know until you reach out and, and let this person know the truth. You know, just go to them and be honest. Like, okay, well, you know, at the time I, you know, I was still dealing with something and you know, I really loved you and I wanted to be with you, but I had to push you away till I shut that door or, or at the time I was lying to you and I really needed your help financially. And now that I got on my feet, I want to, I want a chance to give back, but I don't want, I don't want you to have that bitter taste in your mouth towards me. Whatever the case may be, just be honest, cancer. I mean, you are the Kings and Queens of swaying the emotions. I mean, like, People really get soft for you, you know, because you really know how to turn on a charm and manipulate that charm. Okay, Cancer? So I feel like just reach out to the person. All right? Until next time, thank you so much, Cancer.